Welcome back to the pour off gritter. That's right, pour, no money, trying to get by. I'm doing a follow up video from the other day when we did the chainsaw siding. It's on another video. If you want to look down my, your, uh, in my channel, you'll find it. This is an explanation how I use it. I don't think our original video showed that very well. I just showed him up on the ladder and what he was doing. So I'm going to show you exactly what's going on. This right here, I'm pretending this is a trim board like up there, three inches. It's close to three inches, probably is. Then I have the one inch board up on top of it. It gives me a lip. Okay, what I do is hit these little fellers in there and I start them in. There's a reason for this, I'll explain in a minute. These are the best little screws. I'll show you one of the screws. These won't crack your board. Let's see if I can get there on the camera. Uh, very small, has a very small head. You gotta watch it, you can bury that head and you can put it right through the board. Only problem, drawback about these are they're hard to get out, very hard. Because the wood folds over and you can't find that screw head. Okay. There's one. Some of these I have pre-drilled. Hey, I finally have one that didn't go through the wood. Anybody want to have some luck? I hope you can see me, what I'm doing. I'm going to explain here in a minute why I'm doing it this way as soon as I get some other boards on here we got a I bought a Jeep an older Jeep Renegade that Sam's been working on the doors the doors have some issues when you open them the whole inside panel comes up with it Oh, that one cracked. I just said they don't crack. That one cracked. Okay, let's get another one. This, it was wet wood, that might be why. Made it easier to get out. Let's see if I can find another small piece. Symbol cut these edges off for me. That's not it. Figure out what my neighbor does. He is going up the hill. This man is loony. He's wealthy. He's a grandpa. But yet he wants to own all, he owns all the land around me greedily. This used to be three lots. He bought the other two around me. I was ready to buy that one. Promised to buy that one. He bought it. He bought the road. I had to take him to court to get used to the road. Okay, what I'm going to do now, there's a small one here. I don't know if I can get that in or not. But we're going to say this is the corner of the house. Set this the corner of the house because you've got to use a small piece to fill in the gap. Now we're gonna use the big boards. I gotta change my bit. And I'll explain to you why I do it this way. I already lost a bit down here in this jungle. What's he got down there? I have no idea. He's going up on the hill, but he's got something. <laughs> Going down there. someone down there. He's got a truck on the hill. Okay. There we go. What you want to do is set these boards. I want to go above them. 
just so that the screws are these screws are hidden. But the crack, if you can see that, you want to make sure you're equally over it. The reason why shaker was invented back in the old times, they used to do this with just rough wood. They would, you know, tear down trees on their own property and they would mill this themselves. It used to be they would take a draw knife and they'd use the back side and they would draw this part up, the upper part up, so it was smaller. The reason why they did that is for an overlap without sticking out too far. These are pallet wood, they're not too th that thick, so I don't do that. Um, what I'm going to do, set this on here. And I got a bad bit, or a bad screw. Yep, bad screw. I don't know how I got that one. I'm always getting bad screws. Where's my screws? Way over here. Hey, that pre drilled this for me. That's a better. New bit. It's a bare bit. Match the bare drill and it's still acting goofy on me. Okay. I don't have a screw in this one. I had a screw in this one. Now this one, I gotta make sure that it covers it's straight up and down, and it covers this next one. Now I only use one screw. Sometimes if the things are being real contrary. I'll use two on the corners. There went my, my screw. Unfortunately, I cannot bend down and get it. So, I'm going to lay down here for a while. I'm just going to start in this old screw hole. Now, notice here, if you can see, I have a difference. You don't want to put them even. That's not shaker siding. Shaker siding, they were rough, drawn out with a hand... Uh, Draw knife if you know what that is, and they were they were just ball sizes of wood. Okay, none of them match, so I don't match mine either. A little bit of difference here. That's what you want. Then I'm going to get another board. It's got a hole in it too. Thank goodness. These are boards. It took off. Didn't like. Well, I actually filmed another video. The only thing you could see was my back. So we changed it up a little bit. Okay, now I'm even there. I don't want that. So I need to go back up. I don't want to be even with that one. So I'm going to go a little bit higher. But I want to make sure I cover the screw holes. Sometimes that gets off. It's not exactly level. I usually have a hammer out here, but right now, a little work to get it level again. Okay. Now I'm going to bring this one down. I don't want it down even with this one. I just want it down a little bit. So we're going to bring it down a little bit. Oh, there's my nail hole. Okay. I just don't want it the same height as this one, this one right here. I don't want it the same height of any of them, but that sometimes happens. Let's see. I'm going to go up a little bit. Well, huh. Okay. I think I went down too far. It slipped on me. But for demonstration purposes, we're all right. I'm gonna take another board. These are ugly boards. They've been around a while. Some of these like to crack, these older boards. Ah, not exactly level. Okay. 
there. I'm gonna put it about right there. I like the different tones of wood though. Oh shoot. Oh man, that flipped. This is hard wood. I don't know about this. And it is covering my small block, which is good. I should really pre drill this one because it looks like oak. Seasoned oak is a nightmare. Okay. All right, here's my first row. If you straightened out. Got a gap in here I don't like. So I just okay. Now what you do from here is pretty simple. You actually take another board. Okay. And then you go halfway between these. Or if you have a small piece, like I got here, like for corner of the house, you'd have that up here somewhere. And you put this one up against it. But we're not doing that. We're going to. I don't think I have a skinny one, do I, Sam? Uh, not to my knowledge. A little bit better than that. Actually, that's getting the point across, though. Okay. Um, now, to do this. Well, oh, shoot. I can't get these screws in, even with this bear. <laughs> Wasper. Just flew down from? on my hand. That's okay. Like one of them big I'm going to use that that one. Will you pick that up for me down here? All right. All right down here. We got chain Thank bits God. to do it though. I'm going to smack him. He did. He did. He did. Okay, he did. I hate wasps. Especially in big ones. What they call the European hornet. What's that? What's that one that stung me? Is a European hornet, wasn't it? Something like that. So get a scar on my leg from that. You know, you jumped in my lap. Hey, I was like 13. 15 years old. No, I was like 13. 15, I remember it uh -huh. distinctly. If you say so. Yep. <laughs> Blood just flew up my nose. Why? Oh, okay. Turn your finger. All right. What I'm going to do. This was not exactly a choice piece of work because it because it caves in here, but we're going to demonstrate what you do on a corner. See, that's a corner in the house. It could go either way. If you go that way, it could go this way. We're going to do it this way. Okay. So what I do to fill in that little gap, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little gap there. Can no, they can't. That? They can't quite see it. Okay. But there's a gap in there, a little bit wider than this. I'm going to put this in there and just pretend it's one of them. It's thinner. It's not my normal choice of what to use. But it's what I'm using. If I can get the screw going. Okay. Now, on the next row up, I'm going to use a normal size board. That other one's a little wide. On the next row up, you kind of straddle that. Making sure that's so thin, it's just not, and this one's so thick. But you're going to straddle that, because remember, this is a wall going up. I like to bring it down about there. This one's cracked. I'm going to put it the top side. Not the greatest choice of word, uh, wood. Okay. But what you do here is you put this one here, covering that, making sure it's in the corner good. Then you do the same thing again, making sure they're not level. They're like this, up and down, all over the place. It don't matter where. Make sure you do that on the second row, just like this row. Okay. That's all there is to it. Pretty simple. That's chainsaw siding. We're having a blast doing it. Some of us aggravating. Our problem is the drill bits. But now this first level... The reason why I like that better, I've got it up here too. I don't know if you can see that. But the reason why I like that, 
because I don't like this coming down over your siding. And it would be all over the place. It would be like, oh, there went my drill. It would be like this. It, it's just horrible. I don't like it. Okay, I, I really don't like it. So I use this to give me a finish off trim. And then a lot of people say, don't stain this, leave it. Well, after a while, I don't want my wood looking like that or like that, and it will turn that way. And I don't care. I'm a paint expert. I was trained years ago in a paint factory. And I worked at Lowe's for quite a while, a couple of years, and made record billion dollar sale, a million dollar sale, sorry. But I don't like that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick a color. Sam, is this siding up here in the shot? Uh, what is it? The siding up here. The wood or? Yep. Hold on, let me readjust. Okay. You going further up? Oh, I'm not reaching up there, I'm just showing them. Where? Okay. Oh, now that up there. We're gonna pick a color. People don't like it colored, but we're gonna pick a color. I'm gonna use a color stain. I'm thinking of something, I don't know, kind of, uh, it's close as I get to one of these pine boards. And you cannot mix paint according to a pine board. It's impossible. Try it too many times. You put it under the viewer, it won't work. The only way I could do it one time get close is I invented the formula for Lowe's. And we use that. It's close. It's kind of a beigey, yellowish look. Kind of a light color. I think they call it sandy beach now. But I, what I'm going to do is probably get into probably a, a light beige or a light tan. Then, can you go get me one of those white boards we got? Please? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't need one of the white boards. Let's piece of paper. No, I want the white board. Okay, I'll get that big old I'm going to show an example here. No, that ones we got yesterday. This is coming off, by the way. Siding has to go up even with that. Then we have to have to do all of this process up there with the correct wood. We won't use this. I'll have to probably buy a three-inch board and a one-inch board. One inch board, no problem. We've got an old part on the other side of the house we're redoing. And that's where I'm pulling these boards off of. If there's another three inch, I'm gonna grab it too. I think there is. But that'll get this side done, completely done. I wasn't gonna do it. I was just gonna paint whatever it was up there. Sam wants it done, so I'm gonna do Sam's idea. Okay. Can you... Can't just knock that down? Yeah, and look, back there. Oh, they, knock your, they knock your drill down? It, it, they knocked it down or it fell down. Little turds. Okay. This is just a piece of dumpster diving board. The current construction site. You ain't in the... It's split. It's split at the bottom, but I'm not going to worry about that. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with boards like this. You're at neck height, by the way. Okay. I'm at neck height. Okay. Put it over here to the corner. Tell me when you see the corner. Which corner? That corner right there. All right. Let me zoom it out. Okay. I'm gonna put the crack at the top because I don't want to look bad. Of course, this is gonna be cut off the width of the board I use. This is gonna go trim this off. And it'll trim the siding off too. Because I really don't want to buy those pieces of I do like that look. Caps. You always get knocked off. I like this look better. Uh, I gotta cut that off to the right length. I might be able to glue that together and use this board. Yeah, I just had a thought. How many of these boards do we have? Uh, four, but I just had oh, a thought. Okay. What if we like do this color for here yeah. and around the windows? But yeah. then these, we just leave whatever color we paint those. Yeah. I, what I'm gonna do I'm probably, probably I'll probably use, that'll probably be a very light color. So what i probably do is trim it out in white. Yeah. So the window don't stand out. 
all this down through here will be a, a light white color. We could always I repaint like the better. window. And I'll probably use these boards. There's four of them. I need one, and I'll need two. But what I do is I take this board, I drill another one into it, so I have a corner. Then I slap the corner up. Okay, on top of the siding. I don't care. It's going to be fine. Okay. Some people say, "Oh, you can see back in there." Well, you, you can, but I really don't care. Um, if you want to come and inspect it, you can fix it. Because to cut the siding off would be a nightmare. I don't even want to take that. I don't ever want to take it off again. What we got there is permanent. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about taking a saw and cutting this off the right width. Hey, what's them shiny bits up there? I have no idea what you're talking about. Up there? Oh, did you put a couple of them in with roofing nails? What? Up yeah, a couple of them. That's all I have Man. is roofing nails. <laughs> they stick out like a sore thumb. By the way, that siding we're not using. That'll never come clean. Oh, I know it. There's so cats all over it. We can use it later on. Throw that board down there. Okay. As soon as he gets us adjusted here. You're good. Okay. That's it for the pour off gritter. Pour off gritter. I've noticed in my video I kind of skipped that word. But pour off gritter. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like and subscribe. And he keeps saying, ring the bell. Hit the bell icon. That's okay. how you get the notifications when we make a new video. For today. Have a nice evening. I got some editing to do. Thank you.